You think your connection is secure with that WPA3 icon? It's a facade to keep you complacent. The game has evolved. Predators are smarter, peeling back your supposed security. Ignorance isn't bliss, it's a vulnerability. Let's dive into the abyss. WPA3's transition mode is a compromise, a gaping wound in the fabric of your network security. Designed to ease the shift from WPA2 to WPA3, it inadvertently opens a door for intruders. It leaks the pairwise master key identifier, PMKID, a critical piece of information that acts like a fingerprint for your network's master key. This identifier is supposed to be secure, but in transition mode, it becomes vulnerable. No handshake is needed, no alerts are raised. The PM kid floats in the airwaves waiting to be captured by anyone with the right tools. Tools like HCCSEC's dump tool pluck the PM kid from the airwaves effortlessly. These tools are readily available and easy to use, making the attack accessible to even novice hackers. Once captured, the PM kid is taken offline for brute forcing. This means that the attacker can try countless password combinations without any time constraints. You might feel secure behind your strong password, but your password could be moments from compromise. This isn't just a theoretical risk, it's a real threat that targets the very foundation of WPA3. Convenience often comes at the cost of security. Transition mode was meant to ease consumer use, allowing older devices to connect to newer WPA3 networks. However, this convenience aids attackers more than it helps users. A system trying to be everything to everyone inevitably creates vulnerabilities. The more accommodating your router tries to be, the more it becomes your betrayer. Your network, which you trust to be secure, becomes a playground for intruders. The silent intruder slips in unnoticed, exploiting the very features designed to help you. In the dead of night, your accommodating router becomes your betrayer, silently compromising your security. The evil twin attack exploits trust, not encryption. It's a cunning strategy that preys on human nature and our inherent trust in familiar names. In public places, you see familiar network names. Airports, cafes, and college campuses are prime targets. You think you're connecting to a safe, known network. But it's a phantom, a replica set up by someone nearby. This deceptive doppelganger mimics the real network, tricking you into connecting. Simple hardware broadcasts an access point with the same SSID. A portable Wi-Fi router or even a smartphone can be used to create this fake network. Your device might connect automatically or you click connect without thought. It's a seamless process, making it hard to detect the deception. You're greeted by a fake login page, asking for credentials. It looks legitimate, often indistinguishable from the real thing. People, desperate for connection, type them in. They don't think twice, eager to get online and continue with their tasks. Strong encryption becomes irrelevant. You hand over the keys. The attacker now has access to your sensitive information. Attackers log into the real network as you or use credentials for worse. They can access your emails, bank accounts and other personal data. It's social engineering, preying on assumptions and convenience. The attacker relies on your trust and the urgency to connect. How often do you scrutinize a public hotspot login page? Most people don't, making it easy for attackers to succeed. The evil twin doesn't need to crack cryptography, it just needs to lie convincingly. Always be cautious and verify the network before connecting. Sometimes the goal is chaos, not theft. In the digital world, chaos can be just as damaging as stealing sensitive information. Imagine a scenario where your network is under siege, not by someone trying to steal your data, but by someone aiming to disrupt your entire system. Beacon frame flooding disrupts by overwhelming routers. This method involves sending a massive number of fake signals to your router, causing it to become overloaded and unable to function properly. Tools like MDK4 unleash torrents of fake beacon frames. These tools are designed to exploit vulnerabilities in your network, making it easy for attackers to flood your system with fake data. Thousands flood the airwaves, crashing routers. The sheer volume of these fake signals can cause even the most robust routers to crash, leaving your network in disarray. WPA3 routers, especially with outdated firmware, are vulnerable. Even the latest security protocols like WPA3 can be compromised if the firmware is not up to date. Connections drop. Your network becomes useless. When your router is overwhelmed, 
all connected devices lose their connection, rendering your network completely useless. Floods can confuse devices or exploit router vulnerabilities. This confusion can lead to further vulnerabilities being exploited, making it easier for attackers to gain control. The ultimate prize? Forcing a security downgrade. Attackers aim to force your network to downgrade its security protocols, making it easier for them to infiltrate. If WPA3 crashes, systems might fall back to weaker WPA2. This fallback to older, less secure protocols can open the door to more serious attacks. It's about brute force, disrupting wireless communication. The goal is to use overwhelming force to disrupt your network, making it impossible for you to communicate wirelessly. While you wonder why your internet died, attackers exploit the chaos. As you scramble to figure out why your network is down, attackers are taking advantage of the situation to further their own goals. Availability is key. Without access, encryption means nothing. No matter how strong your encryption is, if you can't access your network, it's useless. Ensuring availability is just as important as securing your data. Karma Attack exploits your device's eagerness to reconnect. Your device remembers every Wi-Fi network. It sends out probe requests seeking familiar networks. Attackers listen, using tools to scan for these requests. When your device calls out, attackers create a rogue access point. Your device connects automatically without your knowledge. All your internet traffic flows through the attacker's router. They see everything, potentially modifying it. This attack bypasses the need for you to select a fake network. It uses your device's trust against you. Karma turns your device's memory into a weapon. WPS Pixie Dust Attack exploits a persistent flaw. WPS was meant to simplify connections but is too simple. Vulnerable routers still have it enabled by default. Pixie Dust targets flaws in WPS pin generation. Attackers determine the correct pin quickly, sidestepping WPA3. Once they have the pin, they retrieve your Wi-Fi passphrase. The persistence of this vulnerability is maddening. Manufacturers ship vulnerable hardware, ISPs deploy it. The security chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Handshake, capture plus dictionary. Attack is an evolved classic. Capturing a handshake is key to password cracking. Attackers force disconnections, capturing the handshake. Tools like Aircrack Ang and HCSEX Dump Tools sniff the airwaves. AI-powered password lists analyze breaches, creating optimized dictionaries. GPU-powered tools like Hashcat try billions of combinations. The speed of capture and intelligence of lists have increased. Strong passwords based on common patterns are vulnerable. Dragon Blood Attack exposes WPA3's vulnerabilities. Side-channel attacks leak password parts during the handshake. Downgrade attacks trick routers into using weaker mechanisms. Many Dragon Blood vulnerabilities have been patched. But outdated firmware remains a vulnerability. Scripts like Dragon Slayer make exploits easier. WPA3's design is strong, but implementation flaws undermine it. QR codes for Wi-Fi access are a convenient deception. Attackers generate malicious QR codes pointing to rogue networks. They print and place them over real codes in public spaces. Unsuspecting users scan and connect to the attacker's network. All internet traffic flows through the attacker's device. They perform man-in-the-middle attacks, intercepting data. QR codes prey on trust and perceived safety, a simple, effective way to lure victims into a digital trap. SSL Strip forms an unholy alliance with rogue APs. You connect to a fake network, thinking it's safe. Attackers intercept your HTTPS requests, stripping encryption. They present non-HTTPS versions of sites, capturing credentials. Tools like SSL Strip automate this process. Attackers see your data in plain text, harvesting credentials. This combination defeats a layer of security many rely on. The rogue AP provides access. SSL Strip provides visibility. Malware on your device can steal Wi-Fi passwords. It extracts saved network credentials, sending them to attackers. Device security is crucial. Your device can betray you. Knowledge is your first line of defense. Disable WPS. Update firmware. Use strong passphrases. Turn off autoconnect. Monitor connected devices. Use trusted DNS and VPNs on public Wi-Fi. Hackers exploit complacency. Stay vigilant. Raise the cost of attacking you. Be a harder target. Like subscribe and stay informed. What you don't know can hurt you.